everyone today we will be solving the problem find the maximum length of valid subsequence one personally i like it this problem a lot because in this problem you will learn greedy as well as simulations and literally it's a brainstorming problem so if you read the solution read the problem and if you are directly watching the video solution please don't do that go and give it a try for at least 20 minutes if you are unable to solve then you can come and watch the video solutions so if you are dependent on video solutions then it's not good in the long term so for the short term you will understand but if you are playing for good amount of time then it will not help you so we will first we'll try to understand the question clearly then we will see how to solve this type of problems similar problems now you are given an integer array numbers and a subsequent sum of nums with length x is valid if it satisfies sub of 0 plus sub of 1 percentile 2 is equals to sub of 1 he is saying that all my percentile 2 should be equal that means here uh, now let's see with small example we have 1 2 and 3 and 4 1 plus 2 percentile 2 is equals to 2 plus 3 percentile 2 is equals to 3 plus 4 percentile 2 these are all equal so he is telling that all my percentile 2 value should be equal should be equal and we need to generate a subsequence in an array that can be derived from the another array by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements so we need to make it longest subsequence and we can delete few characters in between but we can't change the order now if you see this example now 1 2 1 1 2 1 2 so he have delete he has deleted only this one and he formed this sub array and if you do this 1 plus 2 percentile 2 which is 1 here it is 1, 1, 1 and 1. So in this way you have built it your summary. Now first thing is deal dealing with zeros and 1s. So first we need to deal with zeros and 1s. Why? To make it simpler. Uh, here you, he had given only 2. So if it is k then it will be a different, uh, different approaches. So here percentile 2 that means you can have the values as 0 or I can have 1. Only 2 values are possible only two values are possible now if you see 1 2 3 4 and if you are converting percentile to 1 0 1 0 and if you observe 1 plus 0 it is 1 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 0 it is 1 so this is my valid sub array valid sub array now he has given this he has given these values and suppose you my this value can be 0 or it can be 1 it can be 1 so first we will think about zeros suppose if it is 0 right if it is 0 what i will say is what i will say is i can have this as 1 plus 1 right 1 plus 1 if it is 1 s of 1 is 1 this s of 1 should be definitely 1 right should be definitely 1 and if it is 1 s of 2 should be 1 to make it 0 it should be 1 so s of 2 is 1 that means s of 3 should be 1 to make it 0 right so all ones can be my answer all ones can be my answer next it can be 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 if it is 0 plus 0 my s of 1 is 0 then s of 2 definitely it should be 0 if s of 2 is 0 then s of 3 should be 0 so my answer can be all zeros all ones can be my answer all zeros can be my answer now i am saying this value can be 1 this value can be 1 either it can be 0 or it can be 1 if it is 1 now one possibility is 0 1 now s of 1 is 1 if it is 1 s of 2 definitely it should be 0 right if it s of 2 is 0 then s of 3 definitely it should be 1 that means my sequence will be s of 0 is 1 0 then s of 1 is 1 s of 2 is 0 right then in the same way it can be 1 0 right it can be 1 0 if it is 1 0 my s of 1 is 0 my s of my s of 2 should be definitely 1 to make it satisfy to 1 to make it equal to 1 then it can be 1 0 so here you can form 1 0 1 so these are all my four possible simulations where i can generate so i think you have got it you have logic so if you understood the logic try try coding by yourself if you code then you will think about this logic and you will try to code uh, if you are directly seeing the coding part you will see my code uh, my coding solution and you will directly code it so please do that so that you can improve your problem solving and the coding skills now let's see the approach k 
is equals to 1 percentile to all we are converting into 0 comma 1s that's why we are making this if my k is equals to 1 c1 plus plus if k is equals to 0 c2 plus plus it's same this scenarios 1 and 0 we are calculating and finally we are telling answer equals to max of c1 comma c2 max of c1 comma c2 now i got this i got this then i have 0 comma 1 i have 0 comma 1 and i can have 1 comma 0 first i will go with 0 comma 1 i am going with 0 comma 1 if you are going with 0 and this is 1 right now my f is equals to 0 and my v of i is equals to 1 sorry v of i is equals to a that means it is 0 then i am incrementing i am saying my counter has increased by 1 now my f is changing to 1 now i need to equate with 1 now f is equals to 1 and v of i is equals to 1 if both are equal then i am incrementing i am converting into 0 or else directly i am incrementing i and finally we are returning the c and here you and finally we are returning we are calculating the maximum finally we are returning the answer so i think you have got it what exactly we are doing try to if you did not understand please try like from here we have solved right from there you can watch again for better understanding so here my time complexity will be we are iterating two times right three times we are iterating three times so it will be n plus n plus n overall i can say it is order of n and we are using extra space which is order of n so space is time is order of n and space is order of n so i think you have learned something new from this video so if you have learned new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i have created a whatsapp community you can join there for further discussion and for further updates i will see you in the next video till then bye bye